Having failed to win any of their eight matches since winning the CIS Cup final against Kilmarnock in March. Hearts with two wins and a draw over their city rivals in the league this season and 10 points from 15 gathered from their last five games. Two changes for Hearts in Satanta Sports Live Saturday lunchtime kickoff. In came Zaliukis and Pospisil with Kanchelsku and Velichka dropping to the bench for a match refereed by Stuart Dugo. Hibbs started with a back three which included Shelton Martis, midfielder Guilam Buzalan also came back into the side as did youngster Damon Gray as Hibbs looked to improve on one win in their last 12 visits to face Hearts at Tyne Castle. Your commentators Ian Crocker and Craig Burley. Well, Hearts and Hibs will spend the summer apart, but they quite like to leave something to remember each other by. The last at Edinburgh Derby never quite took off, but the previous two provided enthralling entertainment. Maybe we'll get lucky today. Hearts have got to go for it. Hibs more than capable of turning it on. And the last time these two teams met here at Tynecastle, they gave us probably the game of the season on Boxing Day. Osmazil chasing this. Hogg and Martis finding it awkward. Oh, what a start! Osmazil! After 24 seconds, it's Hearts 1, Hibs 0, and that's the way to start an Edinburgh Derby. Well, let me tell you, it's 10 out of 10 for perseverance for Osmazil. But if you cannot defend one punt up the field like that, and you've got three centre halves, then you've got big problems. The goalkeeper's blameless because he's got absolutely no chance. We spoke about him having protection before the game. He got absolutely no protection here. It's one disaster after another. As a centre half, you cannot allow the ball to bounce there. King Shields, who was involved in the Boxing Day drama here when the team's met. Bednar chasing and Martin's back pass. It's given McNeil a big worry. Well, I'll tell you what, it's not a day for your centre-half to be skidding a bounce one back to a young goalkeeper like that. The, lad, the lad's going to be nervous as it is. Just deal with the situation as a centre-half. Fisas. Oh, and Bidna nearly connected. What Rob Jones is doing, I don't know. But it's Bidna around the back. He doesn't deal with it. Again, he lets it bounce in the box. This time, he gets away with it. But this is the pass back to a young, inexperienced goalkeeper bouncing on a skiddy surface. Hibs goalkeepers have had uh, their fair share of problems in high-profile matches this season. They don't need their own teammates to give them bother. Kingston, precision pass for Post Brazil. And McNeil keeps hold of it. I think if this continues, I can see a quick change back to a flat back four. Now Gray, and look at the space here, he's got Fletcher with him. Fletcher, back for Gray, and Karapinas to the rescue for Hart. He's got to hit it first time, he won't get time and space at this level. His initial ball to Fletcher just pushed him a little bit wide, but Fletcher recovers it well, but you don't get time to take a touch there. The defender does well, but you do feel when it skips off the surface, he's got to take it on the volley. Given away by Buzalan. No foul by well, Rob Jones, although the assistant referee actually was going to give that. It's Fletcher, he's onside. And Fletcher did it as well and allowed Christoph Berry to get back, but the flag stayed down, much to Hart's dismay. And that's another chance going to beg, and it's Stuart Dougal plays on. He's onside, and it's a fantastic ball. Great first touch from Fletcher, but once again, he's got time and space. He's also got Damien Gray on his left-hand side, and John Collins knows that's another opportunity missed. Pisas. Bednar for Pospisil. And Pospisil for Bednar! Super save from McNeil and Jones just got it away from the incoming Nicolunas. 
absolutely great save because this for me should be in the back of the net from what seven yards out that is bread and butter for the striker at seven yards out he doesn't get it in the corner enough but you've got to give credit to the goalkeeper because he said we're going to be 2-0 down here no doubt about that Martis with Pos Brazil Bednar another great save from McNeil from Bednar again Hearts hungry for a second goal. Karapidis. Kingston. Guzalan will cut that out. It's a great strike. The one thing he does, though, he hits it straight at the goalkeeper, which makes it a little bit easier for McNeil. But Rob Jones, again, is getting turned far too easily in there. Oh, McNeil, it's another error, and Andrew Driver makes it 2-0. Hearts are loving it, but it's another Edinburgh Derby clanger from a Hibs goalkeeper. It just keeps on happening. We know players make mistakes, but you have to learn from your mistakes. OK, the surface, the conditions play their part, but it's got to be bread and butter. How many mistakes are Hibs goalkeepers going to make in derbies? But credit to Driver, it's, he finishes it well. But my, oh my, he's just made two very good saves. His confidence must have been high, but he's just absolutely gifted the second goal to Hart. Martis for Whitaker. Boozerland! And Craig Gordon. Having to push that over. Find the space, Hibs in that centre of the park. If they can just use it a bit better. It's a decent strike. And it's pretty comfortable for Gordon. Whitaker can't get it away. And a foul. Gives Hearts a free kick, which they will be eager to make the most of. Well, they just up hens. Ivas Kevichus. Kingston! It was very nearly 3 0. Yeah, good free kick. The last action of the first half. Driver for Mikalunas. Mikalunas, Berra! Will it go in? No, it won't. Well, they scored in the first minute of the half, but they couldn't quite score in the last minute of the half. When this ball comes back off the frame, there's two Hearts players at the back post and neither of the two of them can put it in. David Murphy takes it. And Sproul. Ivan Sproul. Frustrated. He's free, spare around the back. He just comes on his left side there. It's a difficult one to take, it's just a little bit behind him. I think he's looking to knock it back across. Ivan Sproul. Sproul shakes off driver. Shields, it was behind him. Murphy. Karapidis is in trouble. He's on a yellow card. He's been let off. I think if he's not yellow card, then he gets a yellow card here. I think Stuart Diggle realises who it is. Zimama just on as a sub and very nearly making an immediate impact but Gordon got down to it yeah good save I think he sees it early enough Craig Gordon it's not quite in the corner you can see I think he knew Zimama was shaping up to try something like that yeah, it was a perfect start for us. Uh, he never gave up on a, it. Was just a little hopeful ball through the middle, and, and he fought for it, and it broke to him, and he got a great finish. So it gave us a great start in the game, and then we go and get in the second one, albeit from a mistake by the goalkeeper. But Andrew Driver still has to finish it, and he does so, and, and it gives us three great points. Yeah, painful, painful for everybody. A big kick up the park, 60-yard kick, and uh, two against one. Uh, we should deal with it. We never dealt with it. Uh, and puts us under pressure right away, lo losing an early goal like that. They never had to work for it, just uh, handed in a plate. What will you be doing this afternoon while Aberdeen are playing at Celtic? 
Uh, we'll, we'll probably just tidy up in here and then by the time we drive home we'll have it on the radio and stuff. We can just hope now that Celtic go out and win their game, but uh, it's, we've, we've done what we had to do today and we can now look forward to what happens next week. Well, Celtic